Hey everyone, I made the top uh, 10, but uh, the 10 is split on 10 because they are all the same value, doesn't matter the mintage. And this uh, series between 31 and 40, 11 years, and you have the deed is not on every year, but uh, that's the complete list. Of the coins, there are so many. So the thing is, the highest minted of this uh, is 68. There is no 69. So break the table. If you can't do that, it doesn't matter which coin. So the table just existed between these 11 years until 68. 68 is there, well presented, but 69 there are none. Uh, the year it doesn't matter if you can break that then you will earn money uh, the first one on my list 1931 is mintage of 750,000 I don't have any example 1929 is mintage of 50.1 million no example 1930d 40.1 million I have an example, 19, uh, 1930, I said the 40, 30. D. So the highest grade known is the MS-67, sold for uh, 35,000. That's something, really. If you can break this with 69, uh, six digits directly on your bank account. <laughs> uh, on number two, the 1929 is mintage of 50.1 uh, million. I don't have an example. Ah, the third one that uh, just showed I had an example. 1930D, 40.1 uh, million. 1931D, mintage of 4.5 million. No example, of course. On number five, the 1932 D. Mintage of two and a half million. No example. All these coins are a lot worse. Uh, if you compare with the, if you use the guide, of course. But there is more. On number seven, 1930 is. 24.3 million I have an example 1930 5 is the 32D 6 is the 1933D I think I jumped over them but no problem 1930 is 24.3 million I had an example as this one to the right the with the tri triple is I think I'm not so sure of course that it is a S, that's the most important. The sharpness is a little bit there, but it's a variety, that's something else. Uh, on number 8, the 1935, with a mintage of uh, ridiculously high for the series, 245 million. Point four. I have an example. The thirty-five. Uh, no mint mark. Sixty-eight plus has a price tag of for the thirty-four thousand and a half dollars. No, <laughs> thirty-five thousand and a half. Yes, correctly. This is just an example, it's way too... 
It's sharp, but uh, I don't know how to Photoshop. <laughs> Uh, on number 9 was the 1963, the year after that, a mintage of 309.6 million. Where are the key dates in my number, in my top 10? And believe me, my top 10 is more expensive than those key dates together. It has to be cleaned professionally, like like they tell, and that will be a 68 plus. <laughs> uh, next, the number 10 that I split in 10 because they, are, they had a value between 12,000, 14,000 and 10,000 and the difference between the main team was crazy. From a few millions to a hundred millions in the prizes. So number one on ten is the 1937 with a mintage of 309. I have an example 37. Highest known is a six, $14,000 for 68 plus. Number two of the tins, they are all split at all the same prices. 1938 and the difference, the vintages, everything is mixed. But the prices are uh, steady, uh, steadier than uh, 156.7 million. I uh, have one of these, it's the uh, 1938 Nomad Mark. And MS 68, that's the maximum that there is. 15,000 and a half was sold. Ah, it's the guide price. They are all sharp but dirty, a little bit dirty. <coughs> Fourth, 1935, D, vintage of 47 million. In 1930, I skipped it. A mintage of 157 million. Uh, MS67 is the high state, so when you get a 68 plus, uh, at least a 70,000. Will this be worth? They are all sharp, but it's not that uh, only dirt on it. Uh, 1930 was the last, the 19th and fourth of the team. 1935 D. 50.4 million. I have an example. 1935 D. I don't think I have an example of 1935D. Next one, 20. Don't have an example of the D, I have the regular one. 1937D, I have an example, 50.4 million minted. Here's this one. The highest is a 67 plus. Sold for a uh, guide price six almost eighteen thousand. This one you should look for nineteen thirty seven D on eight of the number ten. 1939, uh, 38D, 20 million mid, I don't have one, and uh, number 7 of the 10th, also, also D, fifteen point two million. I don't have an example. 
1939 on number 8 is Imagery of 112.9 I was way too far I think Imagery of 52.1 million 1939 is Here it is. Sixty-eight plus ten thousand was sold. On sixty-eight plus, <laughs> they might doing it. It was showing. Uh, that's why I split it the number ten on all these coins. Different years, different weights, different minting, and they are almost the same price. Nineteen. 40D and S. The D has a message of 81.4 million and the S almost a double. And they are all, all uh, MS68 almost the same price L of 1000.7 and L of 1000. Nineteen forty is is here. Nineteen forty D is here. And the last one and the best one. Nineteen forty no mid mark uh, has a price tag of nine thousand six uh mid sixty eight plus you have here a regular example and next to it something special I think something special it's just the sharpness is a 69 plus it has to be shiny, that's the problem. When I first filmed it, it was shining like hell. Now, look what happened. That's when a penny touched too much air. Really strange. I have a 41, it's yellow, extremely yellow, but this could be something. So later, 